this is Typhoon John, and I've just come back from um, me being presented with this. I have became a black belt and passed for a black belt uh, grading, which is a joy to behold because I wouldn't really want to be going through that car belt book again because I was just sick of it after going through it so many times. But that's what happens once you've done it like loads of times. Anyway, enough with that. Um, this video is um, supposed. To... I'm doing an introduction for a clip which was filmed over at my club's Dojang, um, showing the presentation of my black belt and um, my instructor is saying about the fact that some people say once you've got your black belt they think the journey's over but well, it's only just beginning so um, without further ado we will go to the video clip that uh, little video clip that um, I had in store for you. Anyway, um, so that this video is worthwhile and worth your, ta worth your time, um, I will be doing some of my patterns from my black belt grading and say some reasons why they were basically announced to be done at the grading. So, First of all, I will be doing my trace pattern, Dangun. I, I am, 
I did Dangun as a choice pattern because it's nice and easy, and it's very easy to remember. You don't want to be choosing a choice pattern like Toy Gay, which is the longest color belt pattern in the actual color belt book. So, yeah, you don't want to be going through something like that, really. Because it's a very hard, it, it is a very hard pattern, because we got to learn all stances and stuff. Anyway, um, this is Dangan Tal. So that there was Dangan Tal, and Dangan is the meaning of the Holy Dangan, the legendary founder of Korea, who established the country in 233, no, 2000, 233 BC. The next Cobalt pan I will be doing is Wan Yo. Now, Wan Yo was chosen as the as the pattern which was examiner's choice. Because when you're doing these three moves at the start, you're doing this, you're then grabbing and you're doing a knife you're doing a knife hand to the neck, but when you're doing your when you're doing the next bit, the this people don't do the reaction. They don't put it to that bell. Let me just do it over here. So they they don't do it to that belt, and sometimes you see them doing that, sliding back. And when you're doing these three moves, you can see that I'm not sliding it back, but I'm sliding it forward. So, if you are a peep, one of those people who are doing their black belt grading in October, just be aware of those things to make sure that examiners don't look out for, and make sure you do the pattern properly. Anyway, here we go. One yo, tall. Wan Yo, the meaning of Wan Yo Tal, it, it means the Siladilistine monk who introduced Zen Buddhism, Zen Buddhism to Korea in 686 AD. And when you get to the Red Bell Quadrant, Quarang, you hear about the Siladilisti again. And it does say that it was again mentioned back in 686 AD. So, my next pattern will be the grade pattern which I had to do to get this Chum Mu. And Chum Mu is 30 movements. I'm sorry if I didn't. Sorry if I didn't say how many movements was in each belt, each, well, each pattern that I was doing. 
Um, Bangun has 21. Wanyo has 28. Chummu has 30. Anyway, Chummu is the hardest color belt pattern that you will do, and the last one that you gotta learn in the color belt book. So, here we go. This is Chummu Tal. So that was Chumu Tal. I believe on the last bit, I made a mistake. You're not supposed to do it like that. It's supposed to be. I think. Let me just get back to my spot. So. Did that. Did that. Did that. And that. No. Actually, it was that. It was this. So I was just trying to make it really mold up. Anyway, meaning of Chumu is the admiral who created the first ever armored ship, aka what they call Kobuxen in brackets. Um, the reason why the pattern ends in a left hand attack is to form his regrettable death, not showing his potentiality to his loyalty to the king. And if you don't know what the armored ship represents now, it represents the submarine by today's standards. So, I hope you have enjoyed this little video on Taekwondo, and I hope this will get some of you thinking about coming along and being a little bit more interested, because as, as my instructor says, you as a person are our bestest advert for Taekwondo, tell your friends about it, you know how much fun that we have at Taekwondo. So please, please do, come along, because I know how much fun I have over there. It's good for your health, good exercise, and yeah, you'll pretty much have fun. You will create new friendships and, and stuff, and maybe, possibly, in four years' time, you will probably go for your black belt grading as I did. So, again, I am going to say this again. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this, folks. This has been Sir John John. Peace out.